don't think we've ever done shorties on this channel. If you want to see what I create, stay tuned. Hello, stranger. It's been a minute since we last kissed. By the way. Hello lovelies, welcome back to Nine Looks Nails. As you can see, we are working on a short set. My client is in the healthcare field and she likes to keep her nails very short and sweet. She had an inspo picture, but she wanted me to replace two of the fingers that were on the nail because they were like summer flowers with more fall inspired design. So we're just going to get right into it and go ahead and lay this acrylic. If you have subscribed and you're returning and you are used to my videos, then you already know I am using Mia Secret Cover Nude Blush Acrylic as my base. And with working with shorties, I am able to do a one ball method, but with doing the one ball method, they can appear to be very much on the flat side and I'm not a flat side kind of girl unless I'm doing my own nails because I know they won't last that long so with my client I am going to do a one ball method but I will go in with a second ball just to add a little more volume to the nails so that they aren't so flat so I'm not going to talk through this entire application process if you have any questions comments or concerns Feel free to leave them down in the comments because you know I'm going to get back to each and every one of you. So stay tuned as I lay this acrylic and then we'll get into designing these oh so cute little short nails. <laughs>
yes ma'am we love a good clean application and now they are finished and buffed and cleaned and we are ready to get into the design work so like i said she did have an inspo picture so the first three nails that i'm going to do are based off of the picture and then the last two nails i'm just going to freestyle so i'm going in with a beetles orange this is another color from beetles fall collection and I absolutely love this color because it is on the deeper spectrum of orange. It's actually giving very much true pumpkin versus like that bright summery orange that we always use. So I do love this color. I'm going to go in and do orange on that finger, a Frenchie on the middle finger, and then I will do this mustard yellow color that came in the same collection. I'm going to link this entire collection down below. And if you guys want to see a swatch video, just comment swatch down below and I will try to get some swatches done of the collections. I actually purchased five to six collections in my most recent order with beetles because i do love to have all the different colors because you never know what design or what inspiration will pop out and i just have to have all of the colors so some collections you can get and you will get one color but i like to have a variation of shades so i did go ahead and get a couple different collections and at the time they actually had a 30% off sale with my coupon code you get 15% off so I had to take advantage of that 30% off sale and the colors look amazing so again if you want to see a swatch video of the collections then let me know down in the comments and I will be sure to get on that for you guys After curing the first coat of gel polish, I am going to go in and do a, another coat of the same polish on each nail just to make sure I have that true color payout. The coats do not have to be super thick because Beatles is a very pigmented brand. So I just do a nice layer to keep the nails nice and clean, but I do want to make sure that I have the true color payout underneath my designs. So after I do a double layer on both of these nails, we will get into the small simple designs that will just turn this set all the way up. Now the base to my nails is completed and I will go in with simple designs. On the orange finger, I am going to do just some simple strokes to create a tiger effect. So with doing these, you want to start with a little pressure and just flick that brush right up off the nail. And that is how you get a good point to your tiger stripes. Start with a little pressure and flick little bit of pressure and flick it's really a no-brainer once you start doing them and i love putting tiger or zebra stripes on any set it adds very much a classy just it just adds a touch that every girl wants i don't know i love adding them to nails so with this middle finger i am going to do a little cow print and i thought it was super cute to do it on this frenchie just so the full nail isn't taken over with cow because i do want the tiger stripes to stand out more than the cow so 
I did change this up a bit from her inspo picture because they had the cow nail on a full nail and I just like to always add my little touch to things and not do it exactly the way that the picture is showing me. And now on this mustard yellow finger, we're going to go in and create a smiley face. That is one of my staples on a set. I don't care any age group that you are. We love a good smiley face. It always brings joy. And with her working in the healthcare field, I just assume that her clients would love to see that smiley face when she comes into the room. So I'm just gonna put this smiley face on, cure these nails, and then we will get into the last two nails. So on this finger, she wanted me to incorporate green and a little fall. So I went ahead and just did a border with some leaves. So always remember that less is more. I'm just starting by creating these very small little petals. And then I will go in and just do a quick little flicker just to make them elongated a little bit and just add a little finished touch to this nail. And for the final nail, I did want to continue with the green as well as popping in and tying that orange into the set. So I am going to create a plaid effect. Fall is the season for plaid, all things plaid. So if you don't like plaid, if you feel like you're going to get tired of plaid, you finna get tired of me because I love plaid. I'm going to add plaid every chance I get. There are so many different variations of plaid from simple plaid to just patterns in general and fall is the season to play with patterns plaid and texture so we may be getting ourselves into a series because i just absolutely love a good pattern design i don't know 
it's something about it so i'm just going to freehand this plaid frenchie and then that will be the finished touch on this set so if you want to see how the overall set came out then stay tuned And after curing the final layer of wet polish, you know I cannot finish my set off without my super glossy Kiara Sky No Wipe Top Coat. My clients absolutely love this top coat and I do as well. So I'm just going to finish off the nails, give her some cuticle oil, and then we will be done with this set. And here is the finished look. They are so sweet and to the point. I know she's going to love them while she works. And if you want to see a close-up, don't forget to follow my socials.